Hello and welcome to the meta presentation from the Brain Power Group. In this presentation, we will introduce you to our TV show. We will tell you what it is about, who are the characters, and what you can learn from it. Let's begin! For our management class, we as a team had to create a TV show with an original plot that will include managerial concepts. The idea behind our show is for the viewers to be able to watch management concepts being applied to everyday life and learn from it. Here's what we came up with. There's a local bar in St. Pete called 270 that everyone knows about and goes to every Thursday night. The owner keeps everyone happy by making friends with all the extra. What everyone doesn't know is that he also runs an underground gambling business that he makes a ton of money out. The bar bartenders don't say anything because they like to gamble after work and take some uh, money from a couple of drunks. The owner, however, does need a new bar bag because the business is going well. He hires a young kid named Jack. Jack keeps his head down in the beginning and makes really good money, but once the bartenders start to get to know him, they introduce him to the underground scene. Jack right away knows that this is illegal, but doesn't want to give up his new job where he makes good money. He's forced with the dilemma of upholding his integrity and performing his duties with credibility. Our target market is mostly young adults entering the workforce. We want to show them that management concepts can be applied to many everyday situations and are not only reserved for the use of the actively working managers. We hope to help them easily enter the workforce, understand different working environments, and be able to adjust to different management techniques. Jack is the barback and the main character. Joan is the owner of the bar. Kevin and Daniel are both bartenders, with two completely different characters, but we will see later in the show. John runs a couple bars in the area, but throughout the years he decided that the location of 270 is the best place to host his under-the-table gambling. John is a very outgoing guy who loves what he does. Burning a few local bars keeps him quite busy, along with the underground gambling ring. John understands that this is illegal, but has no moral issues with the idea. He loves to keep his customers happy, no matter what it takes, including illegal gambling in his bar. John is a great manager to his workers. He listens to his employees' thoughts and concerns, and is a very good problem solver. He lets all the employees participate in the gambling in exchange to keep it all under wraps. Jack, main character, forced with making the decision whether or not to do the right thing. Jack is an outstanding citizen with no criminal record and is just looking to move himself up in the world. He is a hard worker and is a generally likable person. Jack somewhat keeps to himself and always gets his work done. He gets along with all the co-workers, but when he finds out about the underground gambling business, he starts to have second thoughts about his new position at the bar. Daniel, right-hand man to John and really likes Jack. Daniel and Kevin are considering branching away from 270 because they think that they can make more money. Daniel, being as close as he is to John, is constantly trying to figure out how they can make more money. John thinks everything is going smoothly and doesn't want to risk more. This is Daniel's problem. If he could be happy with just making a, the few hundred bucks that he does every night, the plan wouldn't be so fragile. Daniel is just always hungry for more. Kevin is the schemer of the group and also the most intimidating. Jack is scared that if he goes to the authorities, Kevin will be the one coming after him. Kevin has a criminal background and he's 6 and 5. He has the covering his arms and is known by the ladies as a bad boy. Jack is very intimidated by him. He's the only one who hasn't warmed up to him. Kevin is constantly telling Daniel that he's not sure if they can trust Jack. Kevin is also known as the enforcer of the underground gambling, so if there are any problems with people paying up, he handles it.
In episode 1, we will focus on managerial roles and responsibility. In episode 2, we will talk about management, environment, and social responsibility. In episode 3, we will talk about organizational structure. Episode 4 is about motivating leadership and trust. Episode 5 focuses on individual behavior. Episode 6 talks about decision making and planning. Episode 7, the final episode, is a reflections episode. Episode 1. In this episode, we meet Jack. Jack is a young adult who is looking for a part time job to make some money while he's studying. He likes to go to a local bar in San Pico 270 where he became friendly with the bartenders and the owner. He sees how the owner, John, runs his business. John is good at planning and organizing, but he doesn't do well with directing and controlling. John, since John owns a couple bars in the area, and he's quite busy, he lets the bartenders run 270 as they please, and they do so. John has the technical knowledge about running a business because he did it successfully for years. He also has great interpersonal skills, but as we will see later in the show, he lacks conceptual skills. Jack sees a flyer that John is looking for a bar back, and he asks about the position. Episode 2. Jack gets hired at the bar. He is overwhelmed with how much success he's having as a new bar back at 270. He gets along well with his co-workers and manager John, but soon learns how they've all made so much money. The bartenders are involved in an underground gambling ring. Jack is having a hard time deciding whether or not he should be a whistleblower or ignore his social responsibility and join the other bartenders in his illegal behavior. Jack has to decide if he feels comfortable enough with his new manager, John, to tell him of this activity, and if the consequences of being a whistleblower outweigh the consequences of getting into legal trouble for this job. Episode 3 Jack has been working at the bar for some time now and sees that John is very busy with all the local bars he owns in the area. With John being gone all the time, the two other bartenders, Daniel and Kevin, have been acting as managers of the bar. With John being absent all the time, Daniel and Kevin are able to focus more on the underground gambling going on which is bringing in a lot of money. One day John makes an unexpected visit to the bar and finally finds out what has been going on and surprisingly is not as mad as Jack, Daniel and Kevin thought he would be. Instead, John joins in on the underground gambling and starts making good money as well. Although Jack has been going along with the illegal activity that has been going on and making good money on the side of his bar back job, he's still unsure what the, what is the correct decision. Episode 4 John has trust in Daniel and Kevin and doesn't feel the need to be at 270 as much so he can focus on his other bars. Daniel and Kevin have been in charge at the bar while John is absent. Daniel is a leader, and he and Jack get along very well. Kevin is very intimidating, but always makes sure to do his job to his greatest potential. Jack has been going along with the underground gambling and feels Daniel is trustworthy and won't put any of them in a dangerous situation, whereas Kevin has been starting problems with people who have anything negative to say, and Jack has a hard time putting faith in Kevin. Kevin realizes that Jack has been acting weird around him and tells Daniel he does not think Jack should be trusted. Daniel thinks otherwise and continues on what, with what he's doing, been doing, which is making lots of money. Episode 5 Jack is invited to join John, Kevin, and Daniel at the gambling table after work. He's able to actually experience the illegal activity. He realizes Kevin is not gambling, but acting as a security guy. Everyone else is drinking and having fun. Jack is not sure what he thinks about the whole situation. He doesn't like the fact that John is risking everything for a couple extra dollars in his pocket. Jack is questioning his respect for his boss and management team. He's disappointed in their actions, but he still is not sure if going to the police is the best option. Jack will use some extra money, and the ability to get them is right in front of him. Is he willing to sacrifice his good name and go against his intuition, or will he decide to put an end to this illegal business? 
episode 6. Jack continues working and is constantly thinking about the underground gambling that is going on and what decision he should make. He uses his decision-making skills and approaches the situation with a rational decision-making model. Jack has already discovered the issue, so he must come up with objectives and criteria to figure out what best benefits him in the situation. Jack analyzes all the alternatives and of either continuing in this illegal activity and making good money, or doing the right thing and telling on John. Jack decided he should talk with John first to see if they can come to an agreement and stop the gambling, so Jack won't be known as a, as a whistleblower. John is making so much money he doesn't agree with Jack that they should stop the gambling. Instead, John offers Jack a huge pay raise to keep his mouth shut. Episode 7 Looking back on what they did, the characters realize how bad it was what they were doing. John is in jail because as the owner of the bar, he has to take the full responsibility. Kevin and Daniel have no choice but to admit they were only mildly involved. Jack has some regrets when he sees what all has happened to his new friends. He uses various leadership techniques to make sure that when they get out, they have jobs making money the right way. Even though he did do the right thing, it bothers him still. So far we've completed Milestones 1 and 2 in the midterm presentation. We still have to finish Milestone 3 and 4 in the final presentation. We've submitted all of our assignments on time, and we got very good grades for that. Each member of our group is actively participating in creating this project, and every week we try to di divide tasks so that each person is using their best skills and abilities. Thank you for watching, and we hope you will enjoy our shop.